and you're very welcome to this video, the second video in our series on saving and borrowing for a junior cycle business based on learning outcome 1.5 of the specification. And what we're going to do in today's lesson is we're going to find out, it's going to show up in the slide here now in a second, what interest is and the formula for simple interest and how you calculate a uh, simple interest uh, for savings using the formula. So first thing first, what is interest? You might have heard if you've been watching a few of these videos, you might have heard this mentioned before, but what does it actually mean? Pause the video there now, judge on a few ideas and you're ready, press play and we'll find out what it is. So, what is interest? Interest is what we call the cost of borrowing and or the reward for saving money. And it's really important that if you're defining this in the exam, that you have both sides down, okay? So it's the cost of borrowing and the reward for saving. So it, it, it comes up twice, and some of you might have had that in your ideas beforehand, okay? So we're looking at saving at the moment at the start of this series. So when I save money in the bank, I earn interest on it. So that's why we call it the reward for saving. It's like, you know, well done, you put money away, the bank are going to give you some interest as a thank you for giving, uh, so for leaving your money with their bank. However, it's also the cost of borrowing. So if I go to the bank to borrow money, they're going to charge me interest. Um, so I have to be able to pay, see, pay the money I owe them back, plus a little bit extra to make it worth the bank's while, to be honest. It is what you call a small percentage of the principal. Now, what I mean by principal, and watch the spelling of principal there, it's the original amount. Okay, so if I uh, have a thousand euros, say, for example, in my savings account, uh, then and my interest rate is, say, 1%, it's 1% of the thousand euro of the principal. Okay, it can be calculated using two types, simple interest or compound interest. Okay, and in this video, we're going to look at how to calculate simple interest. Now, simple interest is what we call a flat rate of interest. Okay, and it's quite a simple formula. It's principal by rate by time. In other words, the words the amount of money in your account multiplied by the interest rate multiplied by how long it's in there. Very, very simple. Get out your calculator and do it. Okay, just to be clear, the principal is the amount you're saving. Okay, so the principal multiplied by the interest rate multiplied by how long it's in there. So let's look at a nice little example there. Let's take our good friend John. John saves a thousand euro at a rate of three percent for two years. How do we calculate the simple interest for that? Okay, so what the question is asking is to calculate the interest John earned, firstly, and secondly, how much will John get back in total after the two years? So in two years' time, if John withdraws all his money from account, how much is he actually going to get back? So we know our formula is principal times interest times time. So in other words, it's 1,000 euro multiplied by 3% multiplied by two years. So put that into your calculator and you get 60 euros. The first question asks how much interest is John going to earn? So what's the extra bit John's going to earn for leaving the money in his, that account? The answer to that is 60 euro. Now, how much does John get back in total after the two years then, but we just have to add that onto the amount he, add, he saved in the first place. So if he withdraws money from the bank account in two years time, he will have a thousand sixty euro in his account. So, um, there's some practice questions on the screen there now for you if you want, if you want to pause the video and give them a go, you can. But that brings us to the end of the day's lesson in which you now know what interest is, the formula for simple interest and how to calculate simple interest what the formula is, how to apply the formula, and we look at a sample question there as well. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, uh, why not give the video a like, and please, of course, subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks very much for watching, and see you in the next video. Thanks, now.